Two to go. Terrific move by Byron and that whole show to go with him. Well, and I, I got to believe he knew somebody was going to go with him, so he was in great position. This thing is anything but Whoa. over. Look at him bounce around as Jimmy Johnson gives William Byron a push. I mean, I think right now William can get that far out because it's his teammate Jimmy Johnson. If that was anybody else other than Jimmy Johnson, I think that's too big of a gap. One to go. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Byron to the top, and Johnson with him. Now, here comes a run by Kevin Harvick. He's going to get to the inside of Byron here. Byron's not careful. To oh, Benedetto yeah. push. Yeah, to Benedetto. This is going to be a game changer right here. If they don't get a big run on the outside, I think uh, Kevin Harvick's going to get back to the lead. Oh, he lost his help there with DeBetto. Oh, no. contact. Kurt Busch is going for it. Three wide into the corner. Stacked up. Bush in the middle. I think you look at that 24 getting the victory here. And William Byron scoots away from them three wide behind him. William Byron for Rick Henrik in a Chevrolet. Breaks the court stranglehold on the duel. And how they did break up the court again, I have no idea. What a race. Nice work, man. Awesome job, guys. First one of the year, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That was beautiful, man. Nice work. Kurt Busch had a big run, and that kind of broke up the battle as Jimmy Johnson and William Byron their way to victory. Yeah, the, yeah, this gets pretty dicey. You see the one of Kurt Busch. As those two got side by side, he just takes advantage of, of that air oh. that's being blocked. Boy, that was so close to making contact. They did make contact between him and Jimmy Johnson. Pushed the four Kevin Harvick below the yellow line. Which would be a penalty on Harvick if he drove below the yellow line, not if he's pushed below the yellow line, as you'll see here. Well, and, and it's about advancing your position, Wait. but yeah, he definitely got, he got slammed below the yellow line. I tell you what, those guys that were in duel one, that didn't get, you know, that, that were watching this race, I think they learned a lot about what you can do. Yeah, there's definitely contact right there, but what you can do, oh, more contact yeah. between Jimmy Johnson and Kurt Busch. But I think they, they taught these guys something for the Daytona 500. You can come from fourth, fifth on back if you've got enough cars behind you to go with you. Timmy Hill will be in the Daytona 500. He races his way in, finishes one spot ahead of Brendan Gaughan, who makes the 500 field on his qualifying time. Well, that was exciting. Yes, All was. the way to the finish. Charlotte, North Carolina's William Byron is headed for victory lane. to celebrate a dual win at Daytona. Mike, the first car on the restart with four fresh tires, so three to go. Was that the designated go lap to pull out and make the move, or did you just feel it? Uh, no, we didn't really have any, there wasn't any Chevy orders or anything like that. We just did a good job of working together. Um, Kurt was a great pusher and great helper, and I really had a lot of trust in him. I was really trying to go with one to go, but I had a, enough momentum out of the trial just watching old races. That's kind of how where the momentum kind of lines up. So I didn't know if I'd get that same momentum once everybody started pushing with one to go. So um, just made it there, got to got to second, I guess. And then uh, Kevin played really nice and didn't pull a big block. So um, thanks to Exalta. Uh, this car looks really good. It's uh, I'm sure it was beautiful under the lights. So excited for the 500. Joey Logano in a Ford, William Byron in a Chevrolet are the winners in the Blue Green Vacations Duel at Daytona. The Great American Race. You don't get a name like that by chance. No, that's something you earn. 
because this isn't just another race. It's a run at history. Sunday at 2.30 Eastern on Fox.